okay now we will see one of the important topic which is payment terms and invoice duty calculation this is to calculate the ER invoice due date using a key called payment terms let's look at this slide here you have a let's say you have an invoice dated 12th April and the invoice due date is 27th May and the current date is 29th May let's look at this invoice due date how is it calculated as 27th May which means that 45 days after 12th April Let this is the only for example let's say this invoice uh, becomes overdue after t uh, 45 days which means that uh, the customer has got 45 days if the payment terms is mentioned as 45 days then the customer has uh, 45 days to make the payment he has to make the payment within the 45 days okay within or on the 45th day so that he doesn't have to pay any interest if the invoice overdues that is on the 46th day it will become overdue the company may charge interest on the outstanding invoice amount to the customer so on the 46th day it will become overdue okay so if I add 45 days into this 12th April the due date will be 27th May we can do the addition yourself I've done it so it will become overdue on the 46th day which is 28th okay so in order to calculate this invoice due date we use payment terms payment terms that's why I have uh, highlighted in blue here invoice due date calculation invoice due date is calculated based on baseline date plus the payment terms due days yeah. our payment terms is 45 days right so the 45 days will be added to this baseline date to calculate the invoice due date so what is this baseline date why uh, am I not using the invoice date why should I use baseline date and what is the baseline date baseline date is actually invoice date in a normal circumstances but the reason why we are not calling it as invoice date is because sometimes in some company procedures they might uh, may not want to use the invoice date as the uh, what do you call that the key date to uh, add the payment terms this is also called the key date key date meaning that uh, 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 based on which date you need to add the payment terms in order to calculate the invoice due date the key date or the baseline date may vary according to company to company alright in normally 90% of the companies will use invoice date as the key date or baseline date but some companies might use the posting date posting date of the invoice document as the baseline date so if they are using the posting date then you have to use the posting date as the baseline date to add the 45 days of the payment terms to calculate the invoice due date right because the posting date and invoice date might differ invoice date is a document date uh, the date which is uh, borne by the invoice but you might receive an invoice date sorry you might receive an invoice on a particular date but you may not post it until a certain date in the future so the posting date will become your future date so in this case the invoice date and the posting date might differ right there's one more date called entry date let me just oh, create one more slide okay to explain what is the difference between invoice date also called as document date and posting date and entry date the difference is let's say you uh, get a invoice from the customer sorry uh, you issue an invoice to the customer because we are talking about AR invoices not AP invoices when you issue an invoice to a customer you put a date in the invoice okay uh, let's say 26th April you are issuing it but 
you post this invoice into your system two days later so your posting date will become 28th April no when you post the invoice to the system that is called entry date that means the day when you enter the document into the system two days later but your accountant may ask you to post it to a different date other than the invoice documented and entry date let's say 27th April see this we have three different dates finally the invoice date which is written on the invoice is 26th but you enter it on the 28th into the system so this is becoming entry date entry date is also co can be called a system date the actual physical date on which you post the document to the system is this date 28th but may you may want to use a posting date which is 27 different posting date this is as per your accountant's request that he wants to post this particular document on 27th for whatever reasons it's not even 26 so let me show you the system where we can see all these dates alright let me just go to a posted document Right, let me just go to any of the AR invoices. DR is AR invoice. Okay, here itself you can see the document date and posting date. Document date is the invoice date. Right. Now in normal cases both the date will match. So this is the invoice date, which is also called document date and uh, posting date. But where is the entry date? You also need to know the entry date, right? Dur during wi on which the uh, on which date the document is posted. You have to come here header and uh, check here you see this is a very good example it was posted on the 5th of April but the posting date and uh, document date I put is 6th of April see entry date who entered this which user ID entered this so this entry date I was talking about alright but if we go to the invoice entry screen which is this P70. You can see the invoice date and posting date. So document this is a document date and this is a posting date. Entry date is automatically uh, updated for you. You don't have to up, uh, update manually. The system will automatically assign the system date to the entry date. You can't see it here. Okay. We only we can only see the entry date after the document is posted. All right. You have understood functions of the three dates so now based on these three dates the baseline date is determined SAP allows you to configure any any one of these three dates as a baseline date in the payment terms configuration screen we are going to see it see it let me come here okay this is the menu path where you can maintain the terms of payment also called pay payment terms okay business transactions financial accounting new account receivable and payable business transaction incoming invoices maintain terms of payment let's go in here all this you see this key each payment term will be given a key a number to identify it uniquely we have 53 such payment terms created but we'll go to this 0002 payment terms and have a look at it to go into the screen just double click okay double click and you're coming here all right this is just a description you can give to the payment terms so that you can understand now I'm going to explain about this section here all right this section I will explain in the next topic which is defining cash discounts granted 
now our topic doesn't requ really require an explanation on that section this section here you just look at this okay you see this default for baseline date these are the four options available no default means you need to enter yourself the baseline date we will see that later but we will con concentrate on this first document date now for payment terms key 0002 what is defaulted here is document date right that means I'm telling the system that if I use these payment terms for the customer you have to default the baseline data to this uh, the invoice date which is the document date one more thing that payment terms is assigned in the customer master data okay okay I'm going to do that let me go to okay not this one I can close this I don't need this okay let me go to customer master data change I'm going to use this customer okay it is maintained in the company code area you know what is the company code area right not the general area under the payment transaction this is where you have to set the payment terms if you click here all the payment terms that you have set up in the configuration screen here okay all this payment terms 53 of it will be shown here in this list all right you just have to choose one we choose this and save it I already done that all right if you don't do that the system will not be able to calculate the due date for you automatically all right any invoice that you enter without the payment terms will become due immediate okay now I entered it I'm going to create an invoice document I'm going to choose the customer I zero 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 one okay now one more time I'm reminding you I was defaulted to document date right so let us see how to calculate the baseline date enter thousand I'm going to enter invoice date 23 so that let me make it 23 so that we know what is posting date and what is invoice date so now the invoice date is 23 and the posting date is 22 let us go and see the baseline date how the system creates a baseline date to do that you have to go here payment this tab here just press enter the system just telling that is in the future date see this baseline date 23 the system automatically uh, retrieves the uh, document date and assign it here the baseline date see baseline date means baseline date because I have set the document date to be the baseline date let me just change it to posting date save it I come back okay go here I need to quit all the way otherwise won't get refreshed okay now let me select the same customer I'm gonna do this 23 and 22 the baseline date should be 22 because I'm asking the system to choose the posting date let us see let's press enter see baseline date is default to 22 all right now let us see what will happen if I choose entry date all right I quit all the way I choose the customer I put 22 here 23 today is 22nd right so I have to change this to 24th so that we can see a difference today the date is 22nd sorry 22nd the entry date or system date is 22nd system date is from the server not your laptop okay not your clients uh, date because my my laptop date is 21st but the server date is 22nd right you know how I know that it's 22nd let me show you something and now you come here the system date it's always defaulted in the posting date so that's how I know the system date is 22nd 
so once again I change this to 23 change this to 4 and change it choose the customer as 501 I go to payment date I will expect the baseline date to be 22nd because that is a system date press enter see because the terms of payment is defaulted to entry date and the entry date is 22nd so it has not selected 23 or 24 which is invoice date and posting date respectively it has just chosen the entry date okay how are we going to use the baseline date let's recap again once the baseline date is determined from either invoice day posting date or entry date depending on your settings in the payment terms now it has to add the total grace period which is called payment terms to the baseline date so where is this payment terms is defined how many days to add how many how many days is the grace period it is over here this last column here you see this we are going to look at this in detail in the next session which is the cash discounts but for our topic now I need to explain about the last column here in any payment terms the last row will have the total days total grace period that the customer has to make the payment 45 days so the the 45 days will be added to this baseline date whatever it may be to derive the invoice due date so in this case if our baseline date is 22nd 45 days will be added to 22nd and uh, to calculate the due date it will fall somewhere in May if you add for uh, 45 days you can do your calculation you can also see the payment terms information here which is exactly the same here right that's why the system is saying that uh, within 45 days it will become due net and these are the cash discounts okay okay we have not seen this no default option yet let us check that also what will happen if I put no default over here I put 23 and 24 the payment terms see the baseline date is empty it doesn't default from any dates you'd enter it manually just enter any date you want okay that's the purpose of no default so now you know two things already uh, how to play around with these options and what are th what is the impact and where to set the grace period for the invoice grace period meaning the payment terms okay I can even increase this to 50 days. See this? Become this tax changes automatically. These tax are automatically calculated by system. Within 50 days D unit. Or I can even make it 30 days D unit. Oh, it has to be ascending order. So I have to enter 31 days. Within 31 days D unit. Right? That's how you play with it. Okay, we'll go to the next topic now.